M0FXB. Welcome back to my videos on the APRS Pro app, which is a free download on the App Store if you're just receiving. So I'm just tinkering and we've got my external antenna connected to my VGC, which I highly recommend. And it's transmitting and receiving, or should I say receiving audio quite loudly from the APRS system on 144-800 in the UK. Now, if I use the Pro app, Let's go back to the normal. So this is your normal screen, okay? And I've actually turned off the internet. So lots of selections that you can learn about here. And for free, I think, you know, all this information is excellent. If you want to transmit, you do have to pay. So first thing you want to do is get your course on in there. So we've got M0FXP and then go to APRS settings. Now I've watched the video and it can receive and transmit via audio. I've tested this and I can't see that that works at the moment. Maybe I need to, no, I'm sure I need to learn more. So receive via audio and transmit via audio. These are the packets that come in here and the, you know, the map that you can see is excellent. So it's all learning to navigate around. If you go to APRS settings, you get this list. I've turned on TX via audio out and receive via audio. So we turn it up, we wait for the packets to come in and they're coming in about every five minutes. To go back, you're gonna tap here. Now there is a system where if you connect a cable from a, you can buy like a BTEC cable that will receive packets from a normal radio and you can connect it to the iPhone and it will use that. But I, I've tried a cable I've got, mm, couldn't really get that working. This was the last packet received by the internet. And the nice thing is, you know, you get it and you can, tap there and you get the map and that's there's no way that came to me m7 you know via the airwaves that's liverpool i'm i'm <laughs> liverpool's up here england's down there there's like 400 miles so if i just go back to the settings and then go to aprs settings receive via internet and turn that on yeah it it will all come to life that, that's just a coincidence that my radio did that so Let's just wait for some packets to come in. I'm going to turn off and just go internet only now. That's it. It took a couple of goes and now it's all coming to life. And I still think for free, this is excellent. Look, we've got all these stations coming in via the internet and we can tap them. Tap on the screen as well. Let's just do it. You can say hi. It won't let me PTT because uh, I, because I have to turn that on. And of course you have to pay. So if I just go back, look, there's your information there, which is very nice. Tap the menu, APRS. And if I just tap that, it doesn't really do anything. TX4 internet is on. So has anyone else used this? Now if I go via audio, it gives me the warning. It makes that noise, okay? But there's no way that noise is being picked up by my radios. There's an APRS type noise. Let me just go off and on. It sounds like a, a packet sound. Let's do it again. So we'll go. Okay, but you know, mm, as soon as I turn off the internet, yeah, then it just freezes, you know, nothing happens. And if I go, okay, receive via my audio, so I turned up the APRS and we're listening for the audio. So you watch, it, it will receive packets, but nothing will change. I'm looking at my APRS F5 to see what I am receiving under my call sign. Hmm. Nothing on there for this time. Let me just scroll through. I mean, it works on HF as well. TX via the internet. We, if I try that. If I go TX via the internet, transmit a beacon. I mean, where's my SSID? APRS settings. 
go here. Let's try that. So we'll go back to call sign. Um, we'll give it a unusual number. Seven. We'll go dash seven. Okay, and then we'll go back to the menu. I did that the other day, and that actually did appear. It was an accident. Um, so let's do a transmit. So we'll go... Am I transmitting? Turn them off. Transmit beacon. TX via the internet. Beacon interval. See, it's, it's coming through now because we've turned on the internet, but what you're seeing on my radio is coming from radio. Beacon in the background on, beacon location, beacon GPS. And what's that? I can put ham tech here. Ham tech, but I'll put a, a 99 there as well. Okay, done. Transmit. Beacon, I'll leave it like that. And I'm looking for how M0FXB-7, see if anything comes up on APRS-FI, which is where all the traffic is. M0FXB-7. Um, Enter. And no, the last time I used that was in July. So someone let me know. I know, I know that, that Dwart is involved. I still think it's a, a really good app for free. Um, but someone give us a bit more information on how we can actually, we can transmit connecting it to a radio, whether it's a non-APRS radio that has a special adapter or a, a, an APRS enabled radio. How can we receive and transmit just listening to the audio? Because the second I go to, the second I turn off the internet, let's do that, enable, All right. I thought, thought I'd purchased that. The second I turn off the internet, it all just freezes up. Bye for now.